OK, we're at the Shea Stadium for this afternoon. Wanderers back on the road again, following on from the trip to Oldham last weekend, taking on Halif FC Halifax Town this afternoon, joined by Wanderers manager Mark White. Mark, I guess the, the key with this afternoon is continuity in terms of back-to-back -back clean sheets, but I guess looking to add some goals as well, having not scored in the last three. So I guess that's getting it right at both ends is the key to today. Yeah, I'm never really that bothered about the going forward bit because, I mean, in, in sort of our history, if you like, you know, goals is something we've never struggled to come by. Um, obviously, it, I think in this division, it, it's far more important to uh, make sure that you're not letting them in. Um, yeah, I think goals are, you know, we've had um, three three games without a goal, but, but ample chances, good possession. So I don't think we, we need to worry about that too much. I think that the main thing would be really making sure we can continue to build on this um, new sort of steel we've got. Um, and we've, we're sort of developing that a lot sooner than we did last year. It took a long, long time to uh, develop a team that um, looked strong off the ball. Um, it guarantees you nothing to say that it's getting better because in this division, especially away from home, the games come thick and fast. Um, the opposition offer different things, so today will be a different challenge altogether. Uh, but obviously we can only say what we see and we, we hope to build on um, what has been... Um, fucking noisy that one, mate. We hope to build on um, what has been some better defensive performances. Yeah, absolutely. Um, continuity the key, having back-to-back -back clean sheets in the last couple of games, of course. So, more of the same today. Um, in terms of the, the line-up and how we're looking this afternoon, Mark, a few changes from, from last weekend. Obviously, a couple in force with, with Barry and Nile obviously picking up injuries last weekend. Um, but we do hand a debut to, to Tom Blair, of course, as well this afternoon. Um, he goes straight into the starting line-up. Yeah, Tom Blair's playing, yeah. Um, really, really good player. Obviously, really exciting. I think this Wanderers team, uh, it's it's reforming. Um, I, I was listening to a really experienced manager, actually. Um, I won't say who. Um, at this level, uh, two days ago. And he made the point that it can take a couple of seasons at this level to, to really build a team to compete. Um, obviously, we're trying to do that. Tom's part of that new era. I don't think this Wanderers team is going to be anywhere near as good uh, right this second as it will be in four months. But I do see lots of positives around the club. Um, you know, with, with boys returning to fitness, uh, Nile and Briggs expected, expected back Tuesday, Alfie Rutherford going out on loan, you know, um, Pybus we bought in and Tom Blair, they're south of 25. And so there's lots of things happening that, that I'd like to think will uh, mean we can keep working forward. Um, Tom Blair's an exciting player and he, uh, he can deliver, I mean, in terms of end product. He's really got an end product and, you know, when you've got a prolific talisman, six, six foot four prior, you know, if you can put the ball in, in that area, he's going to get goals and, you know, to a degree, nothing against um, anyone else in the team, but, you know, Nicky Wheeler leaving. Uh, you know, Jason doesn't get that type of delivery that he used to get. Tom Blair will replace that. Yeah, of Absolutely. And of course, we acknowledge Matt Briggs, hopefully looking to be involved for next week. But of course, he's not been involved recently. And same with Jimmy Muir as well. So, no, looking forward to see Tom start today. And just finally, Mark, um, looking at the opposition and, and Halifax, obviously, it was one of our more disappointing days um, on the road last season. They've, they've started the season well, the best defensive record in the league. Um, what are you expecting from, from the hosts this afternoon? I just think they're super organised and, and I think they're a really good test actually of where we want to be because they're re I think they're you know probably as organised as anybody in this league. Um, low budget, um, Chris won't mind me saying, um, does brilliant with what he's got, finds great cracking lads and cracking signings, they all want to play for him um, and they're well organised and I think if we can get a result against a really well-organised team with such a good start, good defensive record, that will show you where we are. So I think we'll learn a lot about ourselves today. Um, I don't think that, I don't think that you know, we're going to die in a ditch if it's a draw. I think, you know, a couple of difficult journeys on the road. Um, you know, um, you take a point away from home at these venues, really, this time of year. Um, but equally, we, we know we're so capable. Um, and I feel like, when we start picking up wins, I feel like we've got the type of team where confidence will flow through it and their goals are really come back. So, yeah, it's, it's still tepid, really, in terms of like my judgment of it. But looking at what I'm seeing, there is definitely development in the team. The stats show you that with the possession, the clean sheets. Um, but 
you know, in this division, every day is another game and, and, and you have to be prepared. Very much so. Thank you for your time, as always, Mark. Much appreciated. Yeah. just want to say a thank you to our sponsors, Nutfield Health, for doing all of our, yeah, all of our coverage um, yeah. this season, pre- and post-match interviews. And we'll catch up afterwards, Mark. Thank yeah, you again. Dan, thanks, mate.